Hi there, this is Shadow C and this is Let's Play Quake, episode 1, map 3, and this map is called The Necropolis and it's one of my favorite maps of the entire Quake. I mean, the design of these maps is amazing and the textures, everything is just gorgeous. Uh, as you can see, I'm testing a new microphone. I still uh, haven't got a hold of how to, like, I, I spent hours trying to get the, the, the equalization right. I still can't do it. I don't know how to do it, but, well, I, I look, look at it like, I don't know, this weekend, whatever. So this map, which is amazing, gives us first the grenade launcher. And you have to hurry about this. So, these enemies, which are the zombies, you can only kill them if you turn, you know, split them into pieces with grenades or rockets. That's why, you know, we need this. And one of the things I wanted to tell you is that I've turned off some of the shadowing and some of the features of the Dark Engine's uh, engine because that was making it look actually worse instead of better. So, yeah, so I did that. So this is like more akin to the original Quake engine which is amazing so these are fiends these monsters and we have some infight in there oh that's amazing awesome this is like the first time we know to do that so speaking of the level this level is like a two circular uh, uh, two circular areas level which means you can circle through uh, through a part of the map that opens here and you end up coming on the other side of these bars, or you can also have a, another uh, circle uh, down here, which is where I'm going to go now. This is also like one of the most difficult maps in Quake, but I like it. And you know, the Granite Launcher is your friend here, like for real, and I just got, okay, I just ran out of grenades. When I say that I like the grenades in this level, I run out of grenades, literally. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of health. Uh, this level is going to take me a long time. And you'll see... I'm going to try to show you which is the safest way, but also the slowest way of going about this level. So once that guy over there, this is, these are ogres, I actually learned the name of the enemies before uh, coming to record this video. These are ogres, what I just killed there, those are called wizards. The actual name of the, of the guys are Scrag, uh, but the internal name is wizards, so that's why a lot of people call them wiz actually, you know, wizards. Not by the marketing name, but you know, by the actual internal programming name. So let's try not to die. I would very much like not to die so early in this series. First secret. Yeah. So about my English, I haven't been speaking in a while, but yeah, I'm getting used to it. So once you, you know, complete this circle, get into this elevator, and you know, we come up to the back. Nice armor. That thing up over here is a switch, opens these bars. This one guy is gonna come up this way, but now we just gotta go here, enter this chamber. We're gonna get killed if we don't shoot this target. Once you shoot this target, you can just go down the stairs, wait a little bit. That thing platform uh, eventually is going to go up again. We're gonna be able to go back. Now we have this big chamber, which is oh, sorry, I forgot this guy's man. Yeah, those people hurt. So we have to be very fast because once we enter this chamber, a shambler will appear, which is one of the most difficult monsters in Quake. So quickly go here, grab the rockets, the yellow key, and just go into the water as fast as you can. And while I'm trying to like dodge the wizards here and the shambler, I'm gonna show it to you in a second. It's a really dangerous guy because he, he has a lightning there. Oh, he almost got me. That is a shampoo. He has like a lightning bolt gun and if he gets you with that, he can just kill you very quickly. And it's like, it's like a, it's instant 
stuff. So second secret here inside the water, invisibility, which is good for nothing here very much. So now we need to go this place. Here these zombies with grenades. That guy is not dead. He just fell because of the splash damage. Now he's dead. So once we reach this elevator, we kind of complete like a second, like a second circle. It's a circle inside a circle. We come back this way. Okay, I need a lot of health. And now we can, we can again circle back in and this guy we need to find this guy which is probably the other, the other side yeah I'm gonna kill him with grenades if I can get a break from this guy sorry I was trying to aim well okay he runs really fast. The reason I'm coming here is because this guy can go through this small door. So I have a small advantage. And yeah, this is going to be really slow but safe. This guy can kill you really fast. I have very low ar uh, armor and relatively low health. Like 80 is uh, like a relatively low health for this monster. If he gets you like two times with that beam they are pretty much dead so yeah sorry about that it's gonna take a while okay he got me i'm like i'm missing like every single grenade here i'm gonna try because i'm pretty sure that this guy is like close to dying now so i'm gonna try with some shells yeah he's dead but this is not over there's another guy over there And I'm, I'm gonna go back and look for some more health because, simply because I don't want to die. I mean, I said that I will record my deaths, but this level is a pretty long level. I want to try to make it in one, one single pass, you know, without having to like edit or anything. And also, I've been practicing this, you know, and I've been succeeding pretty much most of the time with this strategy and I think that should be like fairly okay he got me again okay he's dead awesome so now these guys these wizards are dead and health here some nails some shells so we're good so so those are like the, the like two main circular parts of the level this is pretty much linear what we have here Yes, they all, always got me with their mucus thing. Very dangerous. Careful with that nail. If it gets you, it kills you. But it also opens this door right here. Which is the, the only way we can you know, advance. And we are short for... Short of... What I recommend here, sorry. I need to concentrate, oh my god. So what I recommend is just run up here, this is like a secret area, so that you can get some more grenades and just, uh, because you need them, there's a lot of zombies around and those guys, you can only kill them, as I said, with grenades or rockets. So yeah, you go ahead and die, I will be very happy, oh, another one there. But those, they, they, like, they can really chip your head off away really quickly. Okay, so I think that's, that's all. I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to be on the safe side here. Kill that guy over there. There are two ogres up. Those are very simple to kill if they don't kill me first. I need to go up the stairs, grab some more rockets. Okay, my health is pretty okay. Switch there. Four zombies, relatively easy. You could aim well. Not to waste. These, these grenades are like precious. 
we try not to waste them because those are like they are given to you as you need them. So now it's a pretty tricky part of the level. That that guy's a pin. I think I already said that. Uh, I called them demons before. Okay, he's dead. But the actual name is Finn. But they're probably like based on the Doom demons. So once you kill these two guys, and I'm just trying to kill myself. That wasn't very smart. This die. Okay, he killed himself. When he dies, this opens up. You can get new armor, which is very needed. And we advance, this is a secret, actually. Jump up here, get some more grenade rockets. And so I need to like replenish my health as much as possible. That is great. Because we're gonna get to the final and uh, most difficult part of the beginning. Press the switch, that scene is gonna low. It's gonna scare you. You will think that you're gonna die, but no, it's gonna stop right there on top of your head, open up, you'll go up to the last part of this long level. And like already three secrets, and as you can see, there's five enemies, and four of them are fiends, and one of them is a chamber. Really, really hard to beat, and I've, I've died here a lot of times. As you kill these guys, more of them like show up, and they're really dangerous okay one more where is it oh no i need to kill the one that's here you know he just fell here that's that's convenient if you can get them to fall here you can kill them with grenades okay you know he is dead that is an ancient bug. I think that that bug is not a quake thing. Okay, we need to like position ourselves as fast as we can behind these walls. That's the only way that we can protect ourselves against uh, and, and if we are lucky against our own grenades. Okay, it's okay. You have to fall down sometimes so that you can go back and grab some health. I don't know actually where can I get some health organized. I think I'm out of all of them. So we just have to go back. Okay, so the best scenario is that when the guys like back there, we're up here. So he's far away. It's not easy for him to find a way to get at what well, is it right now. And you can Oh man, I'm out of grenades. That is no good. I'm 49 health. I'm gonna die. And you know, I wanna just finish the level, so I'm gonna go back. I really wanna finish the level without dying. This is this wouldn't be like fair, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna take some time here. I'm gonna back up. I know there's more health more health here, like for example here, I need more, because I'm like no armor right now, so any like soft bit of uh, ray gun or whatever he throws at us is like almost deadly, so I think there's some health, now I already took it, oh man, I took all the health, and I've been hours here. <laughs> Oh, I know where's some more. More health is right here. Oh yeah. Well, at least a little bit. Thirty-nine. I'm out of ammo, out of armor. This is really a uh, very like. Oh man, it's a very difficult fight. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be difficult. To kill this guy with a dime. If I can get close to him, but I'm gonna die so quickly. If I could get close to him, charge him. Yeah, this 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 gun is like much more efficient. Oh, he's dead! Oh my god, that's awesome. Sixty-five kills. Okay, man. That's great. So yeah, 
This has been what's the name of this level? The Necropolis, one of the best quake levels, and as you can see, it's pretty pretty long. Fifteen minutes took me to to finish it. Uh, so yeah, and the next level I'm gonna save here, as you know. This is probably also one of my favorite levels, the Grizzly Grotto, which I'm gonna cover in the next video. So if you like, leave a like, comment, or just subscribe to my channel for some more quick.